Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am thrilled to be taking part in the Save the Crafty YouTube video hop, which is organized by Justine Hovey. You can read more about the hop in the description box below, and I will leave a link as well to the next stop on the hop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this gorgeous textured effect using Ranger Alcohol Pearls and some Nouveau Tonic Glimmer Paste in the shade Moonstone. So I've got an older uh, crafters workshop stencil here and I am particularly fond of these mandala style designs and I am applying the glimmer paste to the stencil which I've sort of temporarily stuck down on a piece of um, craft plastic sheet this is an equivalent to UPO paper, so it is a, um, it's not made of paper, it's made of plastic, and this is what works really, really well with alcohol pearls and alcohol inks. I will leave a link to all the products I have used in the description box below. So once I have, um, put the glimmer paste down through the stencil, I've quickly dried it with my heat tool and I gave my alcohol pearls a shake before starting to drip them on to my surface. So you can use um, you can use any sort of alcohol to dilute the alcohol pearls but I chose to directly drip them on to the surface to get the full effect of the shimmers from the alcohol pearls. They are absolutely gorgeous and they have an absolutely gorgeous, glorious shine to them, um, which I think when you use the glimmer paste underneath brings out the shine even more because they have a slight translucent quality to them as well. So I'm using a variety of shades, just making sure to use shades that I know will not make mud. So I know that when I placed my blue and yellow together, they will make green. And when I make, add my pink and purple on there, they won't make muddy colors. So I'm just filling in the gaps here and there. And as you can see, it didn't take very long to get this beautiful design and I absolutely adore the textured effect that you get and you can see a little bit of what that shine looks like. It's not quite dry there so I'm going to set it aside to dry and I'll show you another technique that I discovered <laughs> while I was playing around. Um, I tend to experiment a lot when I have all of my craft supplies out so I wanted to see if there was some way for me to get like a resist effect using alcohol pearls. And as you know, alcohol pearls are permanent. They will cover everything. Um, you won't get traditional resist effects that you would with something like distress inks or watercolors. So I'm experimenting here and I've applied some Distress glaze with a sponge onto the craft plastic. You can use UPO paper if you have UPO in your stash. Um, I prefer using craft plastic because it has a nice and sturdy and it's quite thick and it's a bright white colour. Um, so I've put the distress glaze uh, through a stencil and because it won't dry as this is a non-porous surface you have to be really careful when you're dripping your alcohol pearls on um, be so that you don't smudge the distress glaze and the way the alcohol pearls moves through all the crevices of any sort of texture paste or textured surface that you use it on is just absolutely mesmerizing to watch and I am not cutting out any of the clips from this effect so just so that you can see when it dries how much it moves about. So um, I'm using uh, a puffer 
which is by Ranger as well to just dry the uh, alcohol pearls a little bit more and I made a mistake I should have let this dry a little bit more but I thought I would leave this clip in there just to show you that sometimes it's fun to experiment and you learn new things even though your experiment might not have worked so once that has dried a little bit I am just taking a kitchen towel and I am buffing off the distress glaze which as I said won't dry uh, completely because this is a non-porous surface um, I'm not exactly sure what distress glaze is made of it's almost a consistency of Vaseline or petroleum jelly and when you buff the alcohol pearls on craft plastic or Yupo paper it almost looks like foil and even though that I it left quite a distressed effect I really loved the finished result and here are some of the um, backgrounds that I made this was done with heavy body glass gel this was done with light texture paste and this next one I spritzed through a stencil some distress resist spray and once they're dried I put on the alcohol pearls and I rubbed it off with some adhesive remover so thank you so much everyone for watching and thank you so much for taking part I just wanted to give a big shout out and a thank you to all the sponsors and Justine for organizing this hop. Please don't forget to comment because a lot of the YouTubers taking part are giving away individual prizes on their videos along with prizes that the sponsors have generously donated. I'm also giving away a $25 gift certificate to Ellen Hudson. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great day. Bye.